What's up everybody, it's Vivian, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a quick tutorial on how to make smooth transitions on Funimate using their custom keyframes. Now, I'm sure most of you editors have heard of Funimate before, but basically it's a free mobile app that allows you to make video edits that you can share to different platforms. Now, I've definitely improved since I last tried it and so has the app. It's added custom keyframes, which allows you to control the aspects of your transition, which is the key to making them smooth. So basically what I've been doing is just setting the pictures up for the transitions. I've added motion tile and I've added the first photo that I'm gonna be using and it's Harry Potter, obviously. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is follow me and go to the custom keyframe tab where they have so many options available of transitions. But the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is turn motion blur on. That is so important. Your transitions cannot be smooth without it. Right now I'm just setting it up, you know, getting it because the picture was obviously a little too small, but I'm gonna be showing you guys my first transition as a rotation. And right at the beginning of the clip, you're going to click this keyframe right here just to keep it at the setting zero because you don't want it to rotate at the beginning. Now for the size of the rotation, it doesn't really matter. You just, you know, I'm just going to do 120, negative 125. I just kind of did a random number. It doesn't really matter. But then you're going to put another keyframe there. Now it's, you hit a rotation, but you can see it is very slow. This is where the graphs come in handy. Now, if you've never used a graph before, it might be a little overwhelming. Like what do these shapes do? But you just kind of have to remember that there's two really important graphs. One graph that's kind of slow and then speeds up and then for a second transition where it's fast and then slows down. So we're gonna pick the first one and add it to both of your keyframes. You must add it to both or it will not work. And then that is the part one of your rotation. Now, the second part for this is basically the same thing. You're just gonna be doing a little bit differently. So I'm adding the photo right here, just sizing it correctly. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go to motion blur, enable that. That is what you wanna do every single time, enable that first but instead you're going to be doing it kind of the opposite. So I'm gonna be putting the rotation you know, the opposite way. So instead of negative 125, we're just gonna to go to 125 and add the keyframe there and then bring the second keyframe to zero. And after you put those keyframes together, that is when you use the graph and it is going to be the graph that is fast and then slow instead of the other one that was slow instead of fast. And then you put the two together and that is your first smooth transition. So the next transition that I'm gonna be showing you guys is a position. And so you're going to, like the last one, enable motion blur, and you're gonna put the first keyframe to zero. Then you're gonna go over and slide it to whatever direction you want. I'm just gonna go over here to the right. Now that you have that, you're going to add the correct graph like you did last time. And there you go, that is part one. It is literally that simple if you just keep doing that same pattern. Once you add the graphs to each of the keyframes, you are done that transition. So before our last transition, I wanted to teach you guys a helpful hint so if you're ever overwhelmed with all of this editing, because I know once you get into that editing groove, it gets complicated and you might freak out a little bit, at least I do sometimes. So what I suggest is using Funimate's new group feature. It singles out pictures and it's kind of like the AE term of pre-compose, if you guys know what that means. I love how you can just focus on this one picture and you're not like overwhelmed by the other effects and all the other stuff that you've done earlier on. I don't know, I just like when everything's more clear. All the effects or text that you might use will all be together as one when you're done. Ooh, that rhymes. <laughs> and if you haven't noticed, um, I'm just doing a zoom transition, just, you know, same kind of pattern, same kind of ordeal that we've been doing this whole time. Motion blur, keyframes, adding it to everything. It's all kind of the same repeating pattern. And if you get in the hang of it, you'll just, it'll become second nature and you'll just know what to do.
So because I use the group feature, this transition is literally in the clip. That's what I think is so cool about it, is that it literally is part of the picture. So I definitely recommend using that when doing some different transitions later on. So there's my tutorial on how to do smooth transitions on Funimate. I've definitely improved a lot since I started, so I'm kind of proud of that. And I actually definitely recommend this app, and I think the custom keyframes is such a cool feature that they added. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!